My name is Boo Ray Perry and I am a photographer in Tampa, Florida and today I'm going to show you how to make a bug. Bug, B-U-G, stands for Boo Ray's Ugly Gels. They are ugly uh, but they are mine and they work great and I thought I would just share it with some of my uh, fellow pros out there and see if you like the idea too. <clears throat> First of all, if you use gels on your flash, and most of us do, then you know that sometimes it can be a hassle trying to get the gels on and off the flash. And there's several companies that make uh, gel holders that you can slide your gels into, and, and they're nice holders and everything, but personally, I, I just always had a hard time getting the gels inside the holders quickly, and, and then if I had to switch gels, I, I didn't have any place to put the gel. They're kind of flimsy. Uh, so I came up with this idea for making my own gel holder, uh, so to speak. Uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, first thing you need to do is make sure you have some Velcro on your flash. Now, if you're a professional photographer, I'm guessing that you already have uh, Velcro on your flash as well as uh, fish hooks, graffiti, and, and anything else you can think of because we're not allowed to have good looking equipment. Uh, we have to have tons of crap stuck all over it. <laughs> It's the mark of a professional. Uh, so anyway, I've got Velcro. I use the fuzzy side uh, on my flash head. Next thing you want to do is get your gel. Uh, in this case, it's a, a quarter CTO gel that I'm using. And uh, you want to cut off a piece that's just a little bit bigger than your actual flash head. Just drop your flash head down and cut around it. I've already done that. And my piece is right here. So there you go. You can see that it's big enough. Now, it's kind of flimsy, right? What I wanted was something that I could put in my pocket and it could stay there and not get wrinkled and ruined. And I also wanted to be able to put it on and off of the flash head quickly. So this is what I came up with. This is vinyl, clear vinyl, and you can buy this at uh, most fabric stores. They sell it by the yard uh, in different gauges and meters and other um, geometric proportions for which I am unfamiliar. But um, it's not very expensive. I think a, a linear yard of it is like maybe three dollars or four dollars. So you get about a yard of this and here you go and it's not pretty. You'll remember the name, right? <coughs> Bure's Ugly Gel Holder. Next thing you want to do is make sure that it's going to be big enough to wrap around your flash. So just put your flash right down on the uh, stuff, on the uh, vinyl. Wrap it uh, right about there going to be okay. Whoops. Whoops. Yep. Sorry. Let's go this way with it. Make sure it's big enough. And it's going to have to wrap twice because you're going to use two pieces. So you can go there with it and then go there with it and a little bit further. Well, let's say right about there. The beauty of um, Bure's Ugly Gels is that they are but ugly. And as a result, you don't have to worry about being uh, very meticulous and perfect and careful when you're making them because really no matter how much you work at it they're not going to be pretty when you get finished with them so why even make the attempt so there you go piece of vinyl now the next thing you want to do is get your gel put it in your vinyl and fold it over well, let's make sure before we do that that we've got the gel the right way make sure that it's that way or this way? Mm, that way should do. So I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to fold this over like so. Now you want to try and get that vinyl pretty much right in the middle if you can. Right about like that ought to do it. Mm, no, that's not quite it. Let's go a little bit more. Yeah. That should do it, right? That looks good. So fold it over and crease it down. Tight. Now, next thing you want to do is get a big iron. Now I turn it to about, uh, I don't know, maybe halfway. I don't think you want it too hot. Now, I usually do this on an ironing board and not on a cutting board in the kitchen. So hopefully it'll be okay. But um, basically you just want to press down along the edges of the vinyl like this, kind of melt it down a little bit. And this is where the real um, ugly part starts to come into play because this stuff is not pretty when you press down on it like this. And you can do it on both sides if you want. Okay, there you go. Now this is steam iron, so I've got a little water and condensation on my cutting board here. Right. 
Try that off. And there you go. Now, take your flash, take your gel, put it on there like that, and fold it over. Okay, we're in business so far. Whoops. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to trim it up. And the reason is because, for instance, if you're using a bounce card or some other thing that straps to the top of your flash, you can't have these little pieces sticking out because they're going to get in the way. Well, again, it's going to be ugly no matter what you do. So, just go right in with a pair of scissors and trim it right there on your flash. There's one side. And here's the other. Now, to make it even better, so that it's even a better trim, take it and cut the corners off. And there it is. Okay, now we're starting to cook with some gas. Final step. Take your Velcro, be sure that you're, if you're using the fuzzy side on your flash, be sure you're getting the uh, stiff side to go on the uh, bug. Cut off a nice piece. Cut that piece in half. Put it on, check it. So as you can see here, you don't want to put the piece of Velcro down here. That's going to be too far. So I'm going to go, that's where my Velcro ends. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. It's not going to be used anyway. You see where that ends. Take my other piece of Velcro. Put it right there. Wait a minute. Tighten it up a little bit. And we're in business. There it is. That's your bug. Bure's Ugly Gel Holder. And once you've made one of these, you can make a whole bunch of them. I got quarter CTO, full CTOs, a couple for fluorescence, a couple of blues if I want some nice background lights. I have a whole bunch of them, and they're practically indestructible. You can just throw them in your bag or throw them in your pocket, and that's a great thing. If you're working a wedding, and sometimes, you know, maybe the brides and the bridesmaids are waiting in a room off of the church, and there may be fluorescent lighting in that room, and then the church has tungsten lighting, and then in between the church and going into that room, they're going to step outside, which is natural light. So in my pocket, I'm going to keep uh, that gel, uh, a full CTO for when they're in the tungsten church. I'm going to keep a quarter CTO for when they're outside, and I'm going to keep a fluorescent as well. And I can just reach in my pocket, pull one out, slap it on my flash, shoot. They go to another room. I just yank it off, grab another one, start shooting. Bure's Ugly Gel Holders, coming to a major mall near you. <laughs> now, if you're thinking, well, gee, that vinyl doesn't look too pretty, and how does it affect the light? Well, I honestly can't tell you what the mathematics of how it affects the light are, but I can tell you that I use these gels on just about every shoot that I do. And you can go to my website, BlueRayPerry.com, and look at my pictures. And see for yourself whether or not you think the vinyl is really interfering with the flash. Because I know there's a lot of purists out there that are going to say, well, you know, this is going to affect the uh, throw of the flash. And this is going to affect uh, how, you know, you know there's, everybody's always got a problem of one sort or another. I tend to just say, you know, look at the results. And for me, the results are good. The speed and, and ease of being able to switch out these vinyl gels uh, is wonderful. And I really haven't noticed any problems in my pictures as a result of shooting through the gel and shooting through the vinyl. Take a look for yourself. BlueRayPerry.com. And go buy yourself some vinyl, some gels, and some uh, Velcro. 
get yourself some scissors and an iron and soon you'll have your own set of bugs. Thanks for watching.